Hi guys, my name is Mina and welcome to another video. Today I'll be talking about contemporary recommendations. I have a lot of contemporary books that I really love and that I want everyone to read. So maybe if you've been thinking about these books, I'm giving you that last push to read them because I love contemporaries. It's like one of my favorite genres, like contemporary and fantasy. Those two are like my go-to genres and Oh my god, I'm just so excited to talk about contemporary books because I love them so much. So a few contemporaries that I especially love are the ones that give you like this summery feeling. Especially like in May, you're just like, oh my god, I need summer right now. And these books will definitely get you in the mood. So first off, I have Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I bought this book one and a half years ago just when it came out and I immediately read it and I loved it. So in this book, we follow Emily and Emily is a very shy person and her best friend Sloane is very extravagant and both they're a super good best friend combination but one day when Emily wants to go to Sloan she finds out that Sloan is gone and then a few days later she gets a letter from Sloan and in that letter are 13 things that Emily believes she has to do and then Sloan will come back so in this book we follow all of the 13 things that she has to do and the new friendships that she makes and oh this book was so good I loved it, there's even a little romance in it, and oh, it was such a good romance. Also, Emily became such a great character during this book. If you just want to get into that summery feeling, read this book right now. Another series that gave me all of like the summery feels was the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy by Jenny Han. I really enjoyed myself reading the first book. The second and third book were kind of less good than the first one, but still very enjoyable. So this book is about Belly, which is like her nickname. I'm not really sure what her real name was, but she basically lives for the summer. So she goes on like this summer vacation with just her mom and this other family that consists of Susanna, Jeremiah, and Conrad. So Jeremiah and Conrad are brothers and Susanna is their mother and they have the most amazing summers and basically you follow their summer and it is a lot of fun. I just really had a great time reading these books. If you want to go check them out, really do that. They're really good. So if you like summery contemporaries but also with kind of a different feeling to it, I would definitely recommend We Were Liars by E. Lockhart one and a half years ago. This book was super hyped. Everyone was like go into it without knowing anything. That's the best way you can get into this book. I don't really think that's like the best way. I will give you just a very quick summary. We follow our main character. I believe her name was Cassie Casey, something like that. During the summer, she goes with two other families again to her private island and again something has happened and this book is all about that. I'm. It's, it sounds very vague, I know that, but that's basically what I can tell you about it. It's really good. I really would recommend this to you if you like kind of a mystery contemporary novel. The next book that I'm talking about is On the Fence by Katie West. Katie? Casey West. This is a very short, really adorable book. This is about Charlie and she's being raised by a single dad and she has like four or three other brothers and her fourth brother which is Brayden, the boy next door. And uh, you know, she gets her first job because she has to pay off a speeding ticket and uh, during that job all things happen and of course with the boys she does a lot of great activities. And it's just a very fun quick read that I would recommend to anyone. I really want to read more Casey West. I've heard nothing but great things about her other two books, The Fill In Boyfriend and Another book, I'm not really sure what that book was, but definitely check out this book. It was really good. And then my favorite duology ever is the To All the Boys I... <laughs> That's not the front. The To All the Boys I Love Before duology by Jenny Han. I am really excited for more books by Jenny Han because I obviously love her books. These are like my favorite contemporaries of all time. So All the Ways I Loved Before is about Lara Jean and uh, whenever she fell in love with a boy and she just was like, oh no, he, don't, he doesn't like me or anything, or her heart was broken, she wrote all of her feelings down and she just forgot about that boy. So she saved all these letters in like a hat box or a something like that in a, inside of a special box. And then on one day, all these letters get sent out to the boys. Things happen. It was a lot of fun to see what was happening, you know, with the boys receiving the letters. The sisters have such a great bond and Laura Jean with her dad. Her dad is so funny. I was just flying through this book. I read it in three days and I just wanted more and more and more. I gave this one five out of five stars and I gave P.S. I Still Love You four and a half out of five stars. It was really good. Not as good as To All The Ways I Loved Before, but still a lot of fun. Very quick pace. I will be rereading this duology like 
so many times in the years to come. I cannot wait to read them again because they are so fantastic. And this, guys, is like my favorite contemporary of all time. And that is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. I've been talking about this book a lot lately, but that's just because it is so good and I want more people to read it because it is well known but I feel like still not super like a lot of people have read it and it is a must read. So Sydney, her best friend slash roommate has cheated on her with her boyfriend. So then there's this neighbor living you know on the other side of the dorm and he plays his guitar every evening so Sydney listens to him things start happening. I cannot say a lot of things about this book anymore because otherwise it would be spoilery. Just read it. It is amazing, like amazing. So let me know in the comments down below which of these books you have already read. And maybe if you have some recommendations for me, please let them know because I want to read a lot more contemporary than I've already done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!